Today we're going to cover clearing a class one malfunction. Class one malfunction is an empty chamber or a dead round. Dead round could be, if when I was in my early years of law enforcement, if you put too much oil on the guns, what they told me is that the oil can seep into the primer of the bullet and therefore the bullet will not ignite, will not detonate, and the bullet will not go through the chamber. That can happen. We tried some experiments with it. It never happened to me, but it's always that possibility. Empty chamber, I have experienced myself, personally. Clean the gun at home, kids in the room, therefore, when I reassemble the gun, I uh, put the magazine in, do not charge it, because I want to create an unsafe environment for my kids, and therefore, I put it in the holster, forget all about it. I always say when I get, when I get outside, I charge it up, and I'll forget, and many of us will. But, a class one malfunction, uh, a procedure for that is tap rack bang. Some people call it tap rack ready, tap rack assessed, but we came here to shoot and demonstrate this when we tap rack bang. Everybody got to put their own signature to the same procedure, all right? So here, with, the, with, with that procedure, is that if a magazine is not properly seated into the gun, all right, and this is a dummy round in that magazine, when this goes forward, that dummy round is still there and there's no round in the chamber, all right? But if you Make sure it's locked in position. Charge the weapon up, do a pinch check, make sure it's in the condition that you want it in. Therefore, now that gun is ready to fire. All right? We'll show you a drill how we'll set this up. All right, so everybody put eyes and ears on. This is gonna be a, a hot range at this time. Now, Make sure the chamber is empty. Nothing is in the chamber at all. Send the slide home, drop the hammer. And I'm gonna put a two uh, live rounds in the magazine here, insert in the gun. All right, that means this chamber is empty. So my attempt to fire, nothing happened, tap, rack, bang. And you just clear the class one malfunction. Show me how to clear a class two malfunction. Class 2 mal malfunction is called a stovepipe or failure to eject. And this is how we this is how it would look, just like this. When I dummy around magazine in. I seen in some films in the, in the 70s where they say if this should happen, you break off the top of this and continue on with the fight. But my dummy round is still there. And there's nothing in the in, in the chamber. So therefore, sometimes I really wouldn't advocate that type of drill. Now, set up for a dummy round, what we're going to do is just break the breech slightly in the action of the gun, stick this spent casing in there, and then we're going to insert the magazine. Now, to clear this, I'm going to tap it, following the same procedure that we do in a class 1 malfunction, and we're going to tilt from side to side, either side to give this avenue to fall out. So I'm going to tap, tilt, rack, and then bang. Okay, now to show you how we do this with, with, with live round. Eyes and ears, everybody. We're gonna put the spin casing in the breech. Two round magazine in. All right, this is considered a hot range. Live rounds being used. Gun would not fire in this position, of course, because the slide is not in battery. Tap, tilt, rack, and bang. That's how we clear a class two malfunction. Show you how to clear a class three malfunction. Class three malfunction is double feed or failure to extract. All right, show you how we can set up for that, because the class three is the longest one to clear, the hardest one to clear, but we can show you, give you some options. Put a dummy round down the barrel. Put a dummy round in the magazine, put it into the gun. Pull the slide back, lower it down, and this is the condition it will come in. All right, that is a class three malfunction. Now to clear it, you can do whatever you can, nothing is gonna really happen. You can push the, the slide, the uh, magazine release in. Rack, 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 rack. And they said, that's a long time, but not. it depends on the tolerance of the gun, it might not clear. 
All right, show you another method. One that I like much better, and I know it will work. Lock the slide to the rear, put dummy round, down the barrel, put magazine in. Set up again. Now, when clearing this, lock your slide to the rear. Magazine don't gonna come out slightly. It's all gonna come out, just slightly. Rake it out. Rack, 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 rack. Magazine in, rack, and go. Now, to show you that with live rounds. Eyes and ears, everybody. This is gonna be a hot range. Dummy round goes down the barrel. Live round, two live rounds, put it in. Set up for this drill. Now, we got that double feed there. Lock slide to the rear. Break it out. Rack, rack, rack. Tap, rack. And bang. That's how we clear a class three malfunction.